useful this has been in terms of on precious them is the the yumi to use just have it in the the quiver all the time or oh, well not hers it's that's all yeah makes sense how about you well <laughs> Um, for, uh, first thought is the Necronomicon, because it's the goddamn Necronomicon, but, uh, personally, it's probably the, um, Dream of Flying, because it has gotten her out of a lot of problems, uh, and has been most useful to her at the moment. Um, the Necronomicon is unproven at the moment, uh, at the moment, so we'll see. Yeah, I suppose everyone's got their most powerful toys and then their favorite one. <laughs> yeah. It's not always the same. How about in eyes? I'd say probably his sleuth shadow curse. Not much other than just he really likes it. It's it's a really nice suit. Where did he get that, actually? I mean, you started uh, that, the... that, Yeah, it was the start before Elias had... But it that's why I'm asking, like, what is... Creation. Have you thought of the, the story behind that? that yeah, I like to imagine it. It would just be... He'd just get sent out for a job in, like... But he'd go out in rags and just come back in a really fancy suit all of a sudden, and just... They'd be like, you know what? You look good in it. You can keep it. <laughs> Nice. How about Jerry? Jerry, it's probably his great sword again. It's his most used weapon and his most powerful weapon, but it's also the weapon that reminds him of his the oath he broke and brings him shame. Yeah, which we still need to update that item, but I, I will get there eventually, I promise. And how about Sakura? So she has like different categories, I guess. Very Sakura of her. I, I think she'd say her most useful would probably be the Orrery because of its passive effects and um, the spells she can cast and, you know, a few times the, the active effects from them have gotten her out of situations or helped to do so. Her most, like, emotionally sentimental items would probably be the staff that Seto made and her grandfather's swords. And then her favorite item, as per very Sakura like, is probably a tea set. Yeah, that tracks. For sure. <laughs> but also, your your orrery is what you use as your spellcasting focus, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just double check. Yeah, that's a pretty important one for the the old wizard. How about Seto? Uh, it's probably a sky piercer. That's the reason. That's the whole point that he is on this journey. So when he collected it, it's probably the most important one. But before that, probably would have been the the rings, but he gave those away, so it's not in his possession anymore. But if like if it was just like based on like what he collected, probably would be the 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 rings, as it was like kind of his first validation that he's no longer a, a boy, but actually went and became a man after that. And you're referring to the arcana magnetic rings that you gave to Sakura's daughter, right? Yeah, to set the share. Because we won them in the arena, basically. I've forgotten where <laughs> most of these items have come from, to be honest. Um, yeah. yeah, that, I, I feel like you, know, you, you must have found that definitely tracks for Seto, although you did last time we saw you. I know you went here last session. Um, 
get a little bit of a clue as to where the other weapon you were looking for might have ended up. The last session, as everyone had been chasing those ninjas into the forest, you ran through basically a wall of uh, the bombs that exploded as you passed through the tree line. Everyone managed to get through that completely unscathed as you rushed your way towards where your airship parked. You found that the ninjas had taken over the airship and had set up an ambush there for you. As you all stove into action, you made quick work of a lot of these ninjas, although they did. A few of them started using some ninjutsu techniques that you have not seen all that much of yet. Um, and some of them actually managed to do some pretty serious damage as they, they had uh, thrown like a hundred different weapons at, at Elias, seemingly targeting him, trying to take him down. But to no avail, as everyone else rushed in, June flying through the skies, this dark streak just raining down Eldritch Bolts, uh, as Barry jumped on, showing his new strength and just obliterating the guys on, on deck. Australia rushed up and actually healed Marta, which everyone's surprise and confusion, especially Elias, who had taken most of the hits from these, the shuriken and things as he was trying to climb a tree to get onto the boat. When he finally did get onto this ship and you all had defeated the ninjas, Elias then moved to a slit this woman's throat as he, he had no interest in keeping her alive. And as he tried to do so, her mouth opened and a tentacle shot out, trying to wrap around his arm like was she was inhabited by some sort of creature, um, which he unleashed his water form and just plastered her face off completely, killing the creature, and he then took her uh, off the ship to go and get buried as the rest of you rid of the other bodies. As you then took flight and made your way away from Toto and back towards, uh, I mean, away from Taton and towards Toto, June headed low deck just into the inner workings of the ship to start working on attuning to the Necronomicon. Um, in secret, for the most part, when those of you above deck, mainly Sakura and Elias, who both decided to a well-needed and much-deserved nap. Um, as you guys went to sleep, you ended up in your dreams inside the same place that June found herself in this realm of dreams with a massive form of Cthulhu sleeping or possibly just waiting um, beneath the waters. The woman who I said killed above board, she was there as well, and it seemed like she was very confused and, tra and trapped in the space. June was reading from a giant obelisk and began reading this deep speech, trying to attune to the item. Sakura took offense to this and immediately started trying to stop June, at which point June uh, took out of the dream and Sakura woke up. As soon as she did, she immediately started trying to find June, and everyone began scouring the ship to figure out where she was hiding to try and stop her from attuning to this item, which they pretty much failed to do, as uh, Sakura managed to honor June below deck. The two of them had a, a standoff there, and just as the spells were about to start flying, um, Elias came in to, to get involved, managing to get off one bolt to hit June just as Sakura had teleported herself and the book to her demiplane and June stepped through the mist to follow after her. What followed after that was a battle across different dimensions and through different realms as June chased Sakura to try and get the book back. Sakura tried to put it in a vault in one of these um, demiplanes of hers eventually caught up with her and two of them had a final showdown where at the end of it Sakura was holding a disintegration ray 
just ready to blast it at, at June and decided to drop it, uh, choosing to believe her friend in that moment. June saw her opportunity, took the shot, knocked Sakura out, and got the ball back. Meanwhile, the rest of you that were on board the deck, those two had disappeared. I don't know where they ended up, where they went to, but you successfully managed to fly to Toto and land just in the crossroads outside of town at about seven o'clock at night. And that is where we're going to rejoin those of you that are still on the ship and we'll get back to June and Sakura in a, in a little bit. But I'd like to know, those of you that are on the ship, what are you doing? Landed and I'll start disembarking. Uh oh. That's all right. Hopefully, it will work out for a minute. Um. So, yeah, there's pretty dark around here. I'm not sure what kind of vision you guys have got. I'm basically yeah. loading in, but I have 180 dark vision. <laughs> yeah. So, dark vision you see in black and white. That's why. Everything's yeah. probably black and white for you. One level, um, level sight. Okay, so is everyone seeing it in color? Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, yeah, level sight is uh, basically just oh. eternally. Oh, there we go. Now I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> This you should be able to see what you're supposed to be able to see right now. Um, and I'll give you, I'll give you a party token to look through. Or anyway, what are you guys doing? You've you've landed the ship. You are now you're at the crossroads. You know that going from here, you can either go um in towards the the city over over here. There's the road to Toto. You can go back down to the, the bathhouses is the uh, road down to the south and then you can go uh, off to the present village where that you know is where Sakura's grandfather lives or yeah those are basically your options or up Mount Kaugan towards the ford you know that you are supposed to fall in uh, with Kinji and probably in the daimyo's throne room in front of Daichi to get your Shimona banners and that sort of thing. But yeah, you've just landed outside of town. What are you doing? Walking to the city? Oops. Yeah, the game is paused for me. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm just waiting a second to see that everyone gets off. And then I don't see Sakura and June. With me. Any idea where they are? I don't know if they can teleport, but... I watched June walk through some kind of portal and since then I've seen neither does anyone here have this type of teleportation magic to take us to them at least make sure they're not dead that's true but I, I'm not I'm not speaking to Australia 
unless I have to, so. <laughs> I'm not interested in sorting out, sifting through your dumbass fucking riddles. If they can find their own way to Toto. Mm. I'm sure they're fine. They're willing to kill each other. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> you guys can head to Toto. I have something I need to take care of. I won't be long. Nice. Where are you going, Jerry? Not far, it's something I have to take care of. What the, do you have, like festival. last time you, yeah, last time you had to do that, you literally went across the dimensions and you reappeared into a forge or whatever. So, you know, a little bit transparency would help. Yeah, well, the, the reason that I've traveled between planes is not here at the moment. So don't worry, I don't do this kind of magic. Yeah, sure, but you still didn't answer the question. I know. Not something illegal. Sure, I can follow you if you want. You can't really escape me. Or you can tell us what you're doing. It's your choice. Sato. It's about Sakura's gift, okay? His birthday. I have to finish the arrangement for a gift. Inside check. <laughs> roll, I guess. I roll persuasion, I'm not lying. <laughs> <This part. laughs> yeah, you actually. can roll an roll an inside at uh this is the persuasion. We'll we'll do that. Roll persuasion. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what does it mean? Do you believe yeah, me? It, at first you get like pretty sure, but you you know Jerry well enough by this point that you're like, oh shit, he's actually being completely genuine. That you still know that there's a lot of unanswered questions, but yeah, it seems like he's telling the truth. Okay. I'll trust you this time. <clears throat> no reason to not trust me. If There's you want someone reason. not to trust, fucking get on June when she comes back. If she, she shut the fuck up as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, your best friend is off with that fucking monster now, so... What do you mean? June and Wait, where, where are they, though? They've gone off into the portal after you tried to read some kind of forbidden, cursed, powerful book and haven't come back since. Yeah, it's fine. If anything <laughs> goes bad, Sakura will just disintegrate June and we'll never see her again. It would help, you know, stopping the future, if I'm being honest. Honestly, I'm... I'm... I'm kind of regretting not doing it. I don't think you need to tell me. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be your first fucking thing to do. It was! Like, 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 she came into the room and I was like, okay, ninth level disintegrate, let's go. And then... I, 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 I take a nap. And <laughs> you should've just disintegrated the book and that's it. Um, <laughs> it's the Necronomicon. It needs to be thrown into an erupting star. What the a dying what? star to so basically a sun that's about to like die. Supernova. Did you read that? Um I Googled like actual Lovecraft law. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I Googled how to destroy the Necronomicon one and then yeah. asked you if I'd know that and you're like no. So No that uh yeah, that is not the item that, that she has. <laughs> That's like from some story. I, I don't know where. Maybe from Lovecraft's actual things. Seems like a logical 
way to try it. So maybe that's why Jane ends up eating the sun, so you can't, so the next mama can't enter it. Um, yeah, so as you guys are, are talking, I'm assuming uh, Seto, Elias, and Astray, you guys are heading into town. Yes. Uh, hmm. I'm, I'm just, sorry, I'm just thinking whether or not would I go for go to see the the the, the hot springs. Uh, it just depends where you go first. You'll probably end up visiting both either way. But it depends whether are, you want to go and fall in uh, and <laughs> like you're supposed to uh, in the photo first. Or, I mean, it is past seven at night, so they they are probably still around um if you leave it too much later i mean it's probably not going to be there to see you yeah probably smaller to just go right now and go to the town i mean sorry okay cool so as you guys are heading that way very uh which way are you going then the village where sakura's decent lives then, you don't have to start switching maps if it's too much for your machine. You can just do it. Well, are you mind. are you trying to go somewhere specific in the village? Yeah, to Ozisan. Hey, yeah. Then uh, we will go over to that map. Give me a second. You want me to press Load. on the pleasant village? And uh, no, because actually I'm not sure where that one leads. Now that I think about no, it, it no, might I won't go touch there. Any, I won't touch anything then. Yeah. You can actually, because um, on the city map as well, you can't see anything. So just leave your seconds where they are now, because that's where you'll end up when you come back. Yeah, not touching anything. So uh, I'm just... Well, I've named it something else. And I've been so long since we've been... Called, like, just a peasant house or something. <laughs> Oh, no, it's because it was that. It's the place where the meteor crashed. That's not... The meteor or the ship? I mean, the ship. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, sorry, uh, give us a second. as You guys can continue your conversation as you're heading into town if you want. Uh, I'm just going to reload this one. <clears throat> Did I post on the ship map? Yeah, he didn't switch it. He's looking for the yeah, map. Cool. Yeah, sorry. The it's yeah. it's been a while. Just the one map that I hadn't <laughs> I hadn't prepared it for. It's always that. Cool. <clears throat> oh, that that's why I'm getting confused. Um, yeah, you would pa walk past the wreckage that like there's still a big ditch in the ground and. Part of the ship lying outside it seems like it's now just part of the environment now. Um, sorry, I'm lost the map. Wait, wait. 
don't have I may need to fix the tokens uh, another second. Uh Jerry, you will be able to you'll walk up the door. Oh yeah, everyone's still here. Um Down your invitation. Oh. Uh, you you arrive outside the door. Um, what would you like to do as you, you approach Odie Santa? I knock at the door. It's late, fairly late. You'll hear shuffling inside as he comes and opens the, the door. Uh, yes, uh, I help. Oh, it's you. Yes. Just take off my helm, my helbuto. I'm not He's here for long. gonna think you're gonna tell him that, that that she died again. I'm not here He's for long. I'm just here to to give you something. I just rummage for my bag. Come in, come in. I've just made some tea. Your friend was just here. <clears throat> Which? The girl there, I'm not sure she's. Sucker is Glasses. sleeping. She seems a little. She oh. looks like she could use the rest. Okay. I'll just pull out the small box I bought in Kunasa. Open it and give him one of the sending stones. It's Sakura's present. She has most of the things she needs, but in case of emergency, it will help. Once a day, you can talk to her wherever she is. You'll see him like a, a smile across his face as he, he gives a a bow and he's like, oh, thank you so very much. This is so kind. I, I think this will be much easier than the paper bird, you know. I asked her to call me, but I think you have all been so busy, she tends to forget. Thank you. Of course. I just peek into the room. We've been through a lot lately. She'll need you more than ever, than ever right now. I have seen. And I'm sure she will need her friends as well. I'm glad she has people like you. I just, I don't say anything and just put my kabuto back on. I have, some, I have to get back to Toto. Festival is soon when we have to head there. Can you tell her when she wakes up? Of course. I will let her know. I just bow and head to the door. Yeah, he will sort of follow you to the door and yeah, he seems very grateful for the gift. But you'll Wish you good night, and then there's the door behind you as you you hear him going off to make tea again. Uh, yeah, I'll summon Spike and then head to the rest of the party. To hey, yeah, so Spike taken out last time. What I've, I've forgotten what the mechanic is. Is he just is he back and recovered? I mean, it has technically, for you, been like over two years since 
right, so. Just I mean, cast a spell and he appears. <laughs> That's all. So we can switch to different mechanic here. Yeah, it's because he's. Uh, oh. Anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, so, I call. Me up there, and. Uh, you are flying off to where? Toto, to rejoin the rest of the party. Okay. Cool. Um, as you fly away. Sakura. Your OG son will will walk into the room as you are you are asleep, but um he will just come to check up on you and you you might wake for a moment and realize the room that you're in. Is there anything you would like to do as you come to consciousness? Just gives him a very confused look. He kneels down next to your, your bed and he will hand you a cup of tea and and say, yeah, I, I may do this. I, I know you were sleeping, but I think you could use it. And he's just like looking you over, picking your wounds. And you're not sure what happened. The last thing you remember was um, being in the vault with June, but when you wake up, you are in your own room, back to Oji San. She'll, she'll sit up and, and take a sick sip of the tea. Oji San's tea has always been her favorite, so she's very happy to have some of his tea. Yeah, you'll see his mates is like, stronger than what you're used to is this is clearly a healing uh, brew that he has made. I had this before when you were a kid and if you were sick or anything like that but he is very concerned and asks you what what happened? Your, your friend said that well it was a little vague to be honest. Well my friend decided to attune to an evil book, um, and I tried to stop her and made the mistake of having mercy, I guess, and hoping that she would have listened to what I had to say. I really thought I got through to her. Nod and, and say, well, perhaps mercy was not a mistake. I mean, they brought you back here. They must still care somehow. Perhaps you did get through to her. You will just have to have hope. And I'm sorry. But your friends are meeting back in the the town, I think they are going to fall in with the daimyo. I would recommend you stay here the night, but Terry asked that you join them in the morning. She nods. Uh, it's nice to be home after the... Yeah, we, we went through time and I'm not sure I like the me 800 or so years from now. He kind of stop as he's getting up. He stands still for a moment and then looks back at you over his shoulder and he says, mm, well, if you can tell me all about it, I'm going to go and make some supper. Join me when you're feeling ready. Not to me. Um, she'll, she'll probably tell him about it while he makes supper. Just get up and go and sit, 
sit with him and tell him about their adventures in the future. Okay. Yeah, so as you sit and uh, regale your oji son with these tales and tell him where you have been, I'm going to ask you, June, what are you doing after, and we can go back a little bit um, if you want to describe actually from the point of dropping sufferer. Yeah, sure. Um, so after dropping Sakura out and finishing her attunement to the Necronomicon, uh, she's not typically happy about her attunement. She didn't want, want it to go down this way, but uh, she had to do, uh, do what she had to do. She would then head over to, she would then put the book into her bag and then head over to Sakura, pick her up. Um, Turn them both into mists and appear in front of uh, Ojisan's door and then knock on the door. Yeah, he would have he would have opened the door much like with very except with a lot more concern when he sees the unconscious stuff around your arm. Would you state anything to him? Yeah, so as soon as I she uh, she sees Warren says, Don't worry, she she's completely fine. She wasn't hurt her too badly, but she needs sleep more than anything. Do you mind taking care of her for an evening? And she gives a small smile. Yeah, he will take her from you in, into his arms and be looking down concerned at her as he walks back into the house. What, what happened to her? He's sort of put his back to you. We had a, <laughs> a bit of a disagreement, as it were, between uh, spellcasters. It's, uh, I don't want to go to this point, but unfortunately, that happened. Uh, she would then take her, put her down in her bed. Just please take care of her. I have to apologize, but um, it happens. He'll kneeling over her will say, hey, I think you should leave. And she gives a small nod and then makes her way out. Yeah, uh, she, after that. yeah she leaves. She's going to use her, she's going to cast Arcane Eye and leave that behind to see, uh, just to keep an eye on them. And then she leaves. Yeah, so how long does that arcane eye last? I believe an hour. Okay, so you would have, um, you probably would have seen Jerry arrive and um, it would have dissipated just as Sakura was waking up. Mm. Where would you go once you leave there? She'd... Uh, yeah, she, she's going to just stay, lay low in town for a bit. Uh, you know, keeping to herself, changes, uh, she changes her form to, uh, probably, uh, human peasant, and she'll just be doing her own thing for a while. Okay, yeah, so we then cut back to, uh, other three with Z and Indra as you approach Photo, and you find yourselves at outside the main gate, um, which there's still some damage to them after the Titan attack and all the things that have attacked Photo recently. But um, people, uh, hearty greetings from the guards that are there. They recognize most of you, except for Indra and Elias. But yeah, you can easily get into the town. What are you guys doing? I just say to the party, I think we will need a reason as to why two of us are here. I 
down thing that familiar. Did the tea thing go high? Nothing you replace me. Whatever the case, I'm going to need to secure a sponsor. Z will speak up and, and say, yes, the, I don't think you guys need to worry too much about just walking through town. There's plenty of foreigners and things in Toto, but we are going to need to convince the daimyo that you are capable of joining us at the Empuku. I mean, we obviously all know that you are, but you may need to case forward. Perhaps one of us should vouch for you. And look at the rest of them. Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> I mean, Seto, I don't think the Daimyo knows that you were even missing at all. As far as they know, I, I'm not sure what we called Kinji, but as far as I know, you would just see. Oh, that's good. I think we should that part. Yeah. So, maybe not a great idea to bring up the whole egg thing. That may confuse matters. But, I mean, we did bring all those guns, which I assume oh. uh, did you guys leave that on the, the ship, or have you brought those with you. Who would have brought them with us? Well, at least I would have. I mean, show those to Kinji. I'm sure you'll have a new best friend. That, that guy loves his toys. And he's our commander now. Hmm. Bye-bye. Well, and I think I'm at least ready to Meet the man. Or Dragon Ball and Canada. Is that where you guys would like to go? Huh? I mean, <laughs> that was. That was what we were supposed to do, anyways. Oh. Yeah, you can either go and uh, meet with him or actually go to the, the daimyo's chambers, but um, if you're going to see Kinji first, then uh, make Sakura and Jun disappear, but you'd easily be able to make your way across town where you see him there on the map. It's been a long time since we were here. Well, at least it feels like it. Kind of oh, first time. Uh, oh, it's your first time here? Maybe not. I don't. I suppose I don't quite. Well, remember. you shouldn't really be uh, sassy with the daimyo. Because you might just lose your head. He's not really. Is there a one of those. you should be sassy with? There are a couple that you can be, and they'll just overlook you and I think that you're not an idiot. You. You're not that far off, mate. I wouldn't be sassy to Daimyo. Yeah. June would. <laughs> I know the back home, she. Astray, you see the window that you smashed before. You guys would know that the entrance to this place is on the left hand side of the map. Um, it has it has been fixed. It fixed itself right after it happened. But very, you would also arrive in town just as they are sort of approaching Angie's house. You'd see them walking down below. Are you going to join it? Yep. 
got your hit made. Yeah, Sakura was there. He's she looks very injured, but alive. She'll probably injured? be here tomorrow. Yeah, she was sleeping when I got there. Should we be worried? Well, you can say the friend dropped her. I assume June. Yeah, most likely. If they really had a scuffle, they'd probably kill each other, if we're being honest. Um, who is carrying the crate of guns, by the way? Is that is quite a, a hefty thing to be lugging around. Did anyone take out the crate of guns? <laughs> yeah. No, it would have been me. It was my job. I assume you want an athletics. Yeah, if you if you're trying to carry it on your own, <laughs> the... would anyone like to help me? Don't forget you have exhaustion. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> no, but I couldn't help you on the way here. No, yeah, I wouldn't I know. help him. I know. I'm asking Kai and G, because I don't imagine it's true, would I either? Both of you fucking dick. Fuck, do you think you can just enslave animals? That's rude. I am yes. asking you! No, you didn't ask. <laughs> Drew would shrug and be like, yeah, I'll, I, I can help you order the, in the box. But yeah, he's he doesn't seem all that strong either. He also seems monk strength. Health is health. I mean, if Fiendra's not helping... Oh, he's also a monk. Yeah, we're fucked. He's gonna give you the help action, so you can make that with advantage. Ooh. Wow. Oh. I'm Elias. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Disadvantage? Wow. <laughs> and I rolled a nat 20 on the other one. Well, well no, then that would... Of the night. <laughs> well, that means you would have gotten the, the nat 20, because I said advantage, so it would have... Fuck it. Doesn't matter, you are able to do... <laughs> It is is a heavy box. You guys are are able to carry this in. Though when you see, like Jerry, when you see this, it's it looks like they're trying too hard. So they are doing this uh, perfectly well. And yeah, Astray, you enter the the place first. Uh, is this on the right floor? Yeah, it is. Looks weird in the entrance but you have all arrived at Baichi's place and uh, you you're not sure where he is this is quite a quiet home this, this place the door open <laughs> it's weird yeah, it seems unlocked as Australia opens it and goes. Um, knock? You can see already bursted inside on this. He yeah, entered the house. Daichi! <laughs> yeah, are you, are you just shouting it from the outside? Yeah. Um, Estrella, you'll see by from where you are, you'll, you'll see him noticing Jerry's pull and getting up from, from the couch and uh, walking towards you. It seems he was in this little uh, living room and he goes, oh, oh, are you back? Oh, welcome, welcome, come in, come in. And he seems quite excited to have guests. Oh, and, uh, who is this? He sees you and 
Indra walking in with great delight. Uh, hello, my name is Elias. Uh, here I have some of your rifles that you wanted, and I've come along as a part of the rest of this party. Oh, the order from Kunas, yes, wonderful. It just, uh, through the door there on your right, you can just set them down in there. I'll take a look in a minute. I was beginning to think I wasn't going to see you all again. And you, sir, and Indra will walk forward and give a bow and introduce himself as Indra Kai. Um, as he says, ah, oh, well, is it everyone, come, let, let us sit. We have had quite a few wonderful developments over the last few days. This Titan technology is quite some and we will head through to the dining room. Um June, you would have seen as you've been laying low in town, you probably would have seen the party. They wouldn't have recognized you, but um, you would have seen them going towards Kinji's house. So if you want to join this scene at some point, you're welcome to. Yeah, June's probably watching them with the uh, arcane eye. I can just cast that will, so. Have a lost set or is someone getting on it? Oh, you were. <laughs> right, where were yeah, you? my my foundry is a little bit like messy sometimes. I don't know why. Like the last couple of weeks, it's been pain. But... Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um. The, I'm not even getting into that right now, but you guys are are in here. Seto, have you actually met Kinji? Uh, I think for a brief second I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for a brief second I did. Maybe like uh, one session or something like that, but I have met him. Ah, okay. So, yeah, then he would, he would welcome you all in. Um, invite you to sit down, maybe get something to eat, as he would like a, a report from you guys. Um, I'm not sure when you met him exactly, but he is meant to be your, like, commanding officer. Um, that was, yeah, he was given command instead of General Mac. So, it, yeah, not everyone was too happy about that when it happened, but he... Seems like this is the first squad of his that has actually returned to his house, and he looks quite happy. Oh, is everyone ready for the festival? I assume you haven't got your Sashimono banners yet. I believe the daimyo is holding on to those. Should be choosing his warriors either tonight or tomorrow morning. We do have to, at least I have to finish up my sword for my ceremony. Oh, well, the army will be marching possibly. Uh, late tomorrow, so you'll have night and tomorrow to finish off anything you need to do before the festival. I mean, the festival does only start in a few days, but the daimyo would like everyone to be punctual. Sure. You were saying something about Technological developments. 
yes, I have been looking into that Titan you left behind, and it has got quite a few little uh, advancements I had never even thought of. Uh, I think those guns that you brought could actually uh, work quite well with that technology. I'm not sure if we'll be able to combine the two, but I am looking into it. Have you discovered anything interesting on your travels? Giant dead dragon turtle. He took a piece of his shell. Probably make a good shield. Even if you. Where was this? Is... See, there was like a meteor shower. Apparently, it hit a giant sea turtle. It was up ashore near Tanata, I believe. What a terrible shame. I, the dragons have been, well, all up in arms trying to protect the world from the shattered moon, but well, didn't know so many had gotten through. That is a terrible shame. I assume that was near NASA. We heard Uchibito Bay had taken a few hits. Yeah. Was that way you joined? And he, it's just you, Elias, knowing that you're from NASA. I just nod. We did set free, not set free, two eggs hatched. So, in the future. There will be someone to protect. Hmm. We should tell the daimyo about that. I think he would be very interested to know that there are fresh dragon turtle eggs or younglings running around. have anything else to report or shall we go and see the daimyo ourselves i i think he would be quite eager to have heard your progress rumor has it that some of you are his favorites for the gimpo festival i mean i'm not sure how long you two are intending to stick around but uh, i'm sure you come along with us as well i did actually want to speak briefly on that. You see, I also intend to, well, attend the Genbuki and try and get the ceremony, of course, but I will not be fighting for the Unicorn Clan, and so I have come to ask for the Blue Dragon sponsorship. Now, of course, I have already met Inaga, and has been so gracious to already offer me a dice show, so I believe it wouldn't be too much to ask for the best of the sponsorship. If I can offer you my services. He is a very capable fighter, to say the least. He will challenge any of your ninjas and probably win. Oh, you are a shinobi then? I would not call my specialty being a shinobi, but similar. I am quite similar. What is your specialty then? Well, my specialty has been really being an investigator, but of course, I'm glad that Jerry vouched for me. I am capable with a sword and crossbow in my hands. He'll nod as he's considering this, looking you up and down. And what of you two? Do you have any endorsements for this fellow? I mean, I'm sure 
Aimeo would be able to make his own judgment. He likes fresh blood. This is a deal, you know, only the best of the best get to go to the Genfuku Festival. We could always use more people like that, for sure. I'll just like nodded thanks to Australia. Actually, surprise. You've managed to impress these two, uh, and he'll sort of look at you, Seto, sort of half expecting another thing, but he's just like waiting to see if you will say anything. I'll just look at Elias. I'm like, <sighs> he's too smart for his own good, but yeah, he can do his job. <laughs> well. An intellectual after my own heart. Speaking of which, uh, where is the pink haired girl and the one with the mark? They, when we came back, she really wanted to go and see her grandpa, whether she, she's alive and doing well, so she just stormed off and basically the, the the one with the mask made sure that she's alright and just followed her and went with her. They all will be tomorrow here, that's for sure. So, well, if they, as long as they're alive, just uh, get them to fall in, then perhaps we should wait until tomorrow morning. You all look like you could probably use a rest anyway. I think that's a good idea. El Elias on 11 health points would agree. Oh my god, are you sitting on the table? It's, I think definitely, uh, if you want to make a good impression on the daimyo, I would suggest you have a little rest first, but these endorsements are enough to convince me. Welcome, welcome to the crew. Uh, Drop here if you would like to spend the night otherwise I'm sure you are eager to get back to your bathhouse Lord Seto. I should warn you however, uh, a few samurai came back earlier today with, they had a, a battle with crab man and apparently on the way back they caught a fire salamander to present to the daimyo which may in fact have spared them uh, they lost to the crab, apparently, and another one of my brothers was killed, so don't be surprised if you find a giant salamander in the pools. We have just put it there for the moment. You lost another brother? My sincerest apologies, but that seems to be happening a bit too often, my lord. Oh, you're telling me? But... I don't think my father's even that concerned about losing him, if I'm honest. And to be honest, I never really liked him much anyway, but he was carrying something quite important to my father, so <laughs> I'm, I feel sorry for whoever stole it. The Crab Clan is not going to be long for this world. Perhaps once you have finished your ceremonies, perhaps we will even be charged with leading the armies to take our revenge, ah, it will be fine. And he's just, he sort of sits back in the chair, seems to be fantasizing about going to war with the crab. Apparently, family. Something like that. Uh, that is passed down amongst the sons of Daichi is a, a holy gift, an ancient thing. I'm sure you wouldn't have any idea, but it is 
known as the Zenobia. I would recommend you pray that you never come across it on the battlefield. That sounds... Oh. Yes. Precisely. I was hoping that I would inherit it myself, but alas, it seems we'll have to go and steal it from the crab. Yeah, so, um, is anything else you guys would like to do here as uh, has invited you to spend the night and you know that you've got basically tomorrow is the last day that you'll have to, to do anything before you actually go to the festival. Um, you'll probably be leaving late tomorrow. Yeah, I wasn't here. Should we... We'll see... They should know. Well, he was saying, he, he was offering that you guys take a rest and then you can go and speak with Daichi in the morning. Okay. Because that's when he'll be he'll be choosing his warriors then uh, for the Genpuku. Um, but if you want to go and report into him now, you absolutely can. Just some of you guys are beaten and bloodied at the Alliance yeah. at this point. Yeah, we can do yeah, it tomorrow. Fine. Oh. In that case, you guys will have the rest of the night. Um, it is about eight o'clock. You've got a couple more hours if you want to do something uh, nightlife in Toto, of which there's not much. Yeah, everyone, including June and Sakura, is there anything you'd want to do during this night? Well, I will want to head back to my forge. Although I'm not sure how much time I'll have to work. Yeah, easily that. Yeah, well, I'll go talk to Astria beforehand. Just making sure no, no one is doing anything else, or should I RP now? Yeah, go ahead. Astrea's heading out or upstairs, so you're just walking around. The Astrea, what are you doing? Ah, oh, she's a place that... You haven't... Oh, sorry. Elias, where the fuck are you going? I'm just going to stand outside, that's all. <laughs> I just walk next to Astrea. Need a favor. Not something too big, but I'm not, not entirely sure if you can actually help. You're capable of magic, I'm not. I need access to teleportation magic that can get me, well, this on this plane, but great distances. Do you have access to this kind of magic? As long as I know the spiritual, the circle, I should be able to get you there. Can you, if you get time tomorrow and you're not doing anything specific, can you write up a few scrolls for me to use? I guess I'll have to teleport and you're not there. Manage powerful magic. Help you with it. Uh, wait. Oh. Things and then. If you think I can cast the spells, then. 
never mind. Maybe they just froze themselves. No offense, I didn't need a, someone to get me around. I'll just start heading out. Okay, you get the impression that maybe uh, Freya might not be the best bet for writing, writing scrolls. You know that Sakura might have some idea on that kind of thing. That's more of a wizard special. Uh, just making, just checking. If you got it from Australia, it might be a song more than it, something like that. I'm not sure what Australia's spells look like. Well, I am proficient with a loot, so it's okay. I can, I can play. Would be more. Yeah. I mean, I will say I'm not 100% sure on the crafting mechanics of writing scrolls um if you want to do that as part of this sort of downtime that you're getting now uh this next day you can you can attempt that so hear that explosion yeah we'll just be heading to the forge oh you make your way up Forge, uh, Elias and Seto, are you having a discussion out there as well? I would go and tap Elias' shoulder and be like, well, you seem like you're fucked up. No offense. I own a, a specific bad house. It said that its water is very good for nurturing the wounds. If you want, you can come with me and, because I know you haven't seen it, you can come with me and just have a little bit of a rest there. I can accommodate for free meal and a good night bed. That sounds lovely. Thank you. Mm, no worries. Follow on me. Is, uh, is that an, an invitation? Sorry, I'm not sure I have any way to stay yet, Indra says, as he's... Kind of awkwardly, <laughs> like I'm following you around. Yeah, I'll turn around. We didn't really formally meet, uh, named Seto. Uh, kind of the. I'm still fucked by the whole time shit, so I don't even know who you are, or where you come from, or what age you come from. But as long as you're here. Uh, I hope you won't pose any threats and we can work together for whatever your goal might be. I mean, like, what? why are you still here? Well, I just honestly didn't want to stay with the people that, I mean, the giant floating ball of eyes and the crazy pink haired lady trying to steal the mouse's heart. I, I'm just uh, as confused uh, as you. That makes sense. Well, but, you're welcome to come and join. As long as you don't pl plan to kill anybody in our sleep, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you, and I've seen your power. I, I think I could stand a chance, don't worry. I'm no threat to you, and I'll I'll try not to make myself too much of a nuisance. I mean, you, you said you run a bathhouse. I, I mean, I run a tavern back home. I maybe help out there if, if you like yeah that's fine i mean don't worry about being a nuisance we have a few running around with us so we're kind of used to <laughs> he's standing right there she's just like <laughs> okay yeah i mean you're not I'm wrong not, but fair enough i just i just <laughs> chuckle i just chuckle it's just a light-hearted joke we love she don't worry yeah, she'll put her arm around Indra and, and go, come on, you're going to love the bath. As uh, they will follow you. Astraea, are you going to spend the night here in town, or are you hey. also going back to the bath? I'm here. I work on those strokes. <laughs> okay, are you going to try and write a scroll, or are you reading? I try to write the scroll. 
All right. Have you got uh, like calligraphy supplies or anything like that? Like any painters, kit, writers, tools, those kind of things? Actually, the, you're sitting in the music room. So actually, right across from you there, there is a book of a sheet music, some of which is blank. Like they, if you if you're writing songs, you're in the ultimate room to do it. Actually, there's a piano. You can sit and like test this throughout the night if you want. Fun. Okay, so I'll say you can make me a a performance or an arcana check. As as the first one, as the rest of you start making your way off towards the bathhouse, you sort of hear the the music of Australia just in the background, and and Kinji seems to quite appreciate it actually. Um, oh, oh yeah, with a thirty, definitely. As with that, you are you start transcribing some music for, for Jerry that should be the notes one would need to play in order to cast that teleportation. Is that what you trying to do? What? That actually makes more sense. I was wondering, I was like, um yeah, so as as you're sort of playing, like you'd be able to sit at the piano and create a teleport teleportation circle in the room and just um, start noting down how you think Jerry would be able to play it. You know, he has a lute, so maybe. Anything else you'd like to try and do there as part of this process? I don't want to, I don't know, going back to... Cool. Uh, June... As your arcane eye has been playing around here, I'd like you to please make a perception or an investigation check. Please. Perception or investigation is my next perception. Twenty-one. Oh, okay. Um, you will notice something through the window of Kinji's house. I'm going to pop you up onto the balcony there, and you will notice that inside, through the window, you will see the dismantled parts of of a titan, of Anaki's titan. You can see he's seems to be working on some sort of secret project in here, and you just see it through the windows up top because you're airborne. Um, and yeah, you can see it looks like he's either been taking parts from the other one, or he's trying to, like, build his own in here. But it definitely looks like one that attacked Kojo. Huh. Not the whole thing. There's, like, part of the torso and the, and the head. But that's all that's actually in this room. It takes up the whole room. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna take that little bit of info, store it away for safekeeping. <laughs> <laughs> And then, is there anything you'd like to do in town? Yeah. It's going to be, uh, make sure she's at the bathhouse before everybody else. Okay, you're going to the bathhouse as well. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay. In that she needs case... to cleanse her senses. <laughs> okay, then as we are as everyone makes their way towards the bathhouse. Um, Sakura, are you you're sleeping through the night there at your Jusan? As you've been uh, yeah. chatting with him for a while now. I'm sure we'll just catch up with him and, and stay the night there, I guess. Okay, cool. Is there um, anything else you'd like to do other than, than catching up or are you just getting that, that rest? You are also able, because you have all just leveled up, um, if you want to describe any of like the new stuff that you got with the level up, that might be what you're 
what you're doing. Uh, it's been quite a night, Doctor. Mm. Does she do anything else? Um, I think she's mostly just happy to see Roji san again and catch up with him and you know, tell them all about their adventures and how happy she is to be back in their own time and you know, about how evil this book is and um, probably rant a bit about how she feels betrayed by June and you know, um, sure she would just be a bit of a chatterbox to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, he would he would love it as well. I mean, you can talk his ear off. He's been waiting for all of this information, uh, and he's just making cup of tea after cup of tea. And you guys sit late into the night, chatting and eating and drinking, and it is it feels good to get all of that off of your chest. As you can go ahead and basically um, take a long rest there, so long as. You're not quite in the, the scene yet, but that is what you're doing over the evening. The rest mm -hmm. of you will arrive outside the bathhouse. You can see there are still a couple of samurai um, pottering around, but not quite as many as were last time you were here. It seems they've actually found places to stay now. Um, there were a lot of people that, when the summer armies came back, were camped outside here, but most of them seem to have found. Yeah, I would be flying straight to the forge. Oh yeah, you're at the forge. I know it's Sorry. through the or, or like the bathhouse, but I'm not stopping here. Sorry, I forgot. You are uh, yeah. heading over to the forge, so we'll we'll get to you in a second. Um, but yeah, Seto, you finally see the the bathhouse up ahead. This is Elias's first time here, I think. Um, uh, I think oh, something else saying? is catching my eye first. What's that? Yeah, and you would have gotten here before them. So you can position yeah, yourself yeah. where you like. You're not just put your right <laughs> smack down <laughs> in the middle of the bridge. She, she's already in the falls. <laughs> okay. I'll say, guys, you. Can give me a perception check to see if you notice a witch broom flying into the um to the bathhouse as you guys are arriving. Not very good. Oh, guess I will stealth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you you catch a glimpse of well, describe what what he sees there as you enter the bathhouse there. Uh, is there anything different now that you're attuned to the Necronomicon? She has this aura about her now. It's not... Yeah, it's like when you're looking at her, it's like there's something off kind of thing. Yeah, uh, what they see if they, if they do spot June flying in, uh, it's pretty much... Um, if you guys have seen How, how to Train a Dragon... You just see that shape cut out into the night. Just look at Seto. Mm hmm. You saw that. <sighs> I smelt that. You really need to see. The odor has changed. Okay, that's really weird. What do you mean? I thought you were gonna say saw, notice something, not smelt. You do understand that. Oh, I am at the back seat. He's a kitten. Well, well yes. our eyes are very keen. Our sense of smell is even stronger. I just. He does own a bathhouse, I... you know. I mean. I 
No, you are a cat. I just... I'm not I'm a cat, not really, you... but sure. I'm not used to it, let's say. Oh yeah, sorry, yesterday you're not on the map. Okay. Okay. So everyone can actually, uh, if you are here, you can use the door into the bathhouse. Should take you to the right. And that's as well, June. So you can actually yes, run yeah. ahead and place <laughs> yourself. The pools. Okay, I see a huge crow. Huge what? <laughs> crow. Oh, I, see crow. I see the crows as well. <laughs> oh, that's probably salamander, I guess. No, like huge. Crows. No, like looking. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god, that's so. <laughs> okay. Okay. The I didn't has see that. <laughs> uh, it, 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 <laughs> This is the wrong map, anyway. That's why. That's an oh, yeah. like, horribly wrong there. Once. <laughs> why is there so I'll many? Get attacked by giant birds. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we in the birds movie? <laughs> you are in pandemic, yes. <laughs> so it's now you're gonna hear the that. Hi. What the? Oh God. Yes, that okay. is a thing in the in it. Nice. You guys done. That was only mildly traumatic. <laughs> bird attack! Bird attack! It's like the ability from Bioshock Infinite. That they're not attacking anyone, they're just flying around. This, this, this giant spider on my my door right now. I just keep looking at back at it. <laughs> let him let, let the chill grow. It, it's just it's just there. I'm used to having spiders in my house every now and then, especially when there's rain. But yeah. but uh, ain't hurting, yeah. Let him. Yeah, he's just chilling. Looks probably a little bit bigger than the palm of my hand. Yeah, he's pretty big. There. There's a rain spider. Yeah. Gave me a mini heart attack earlier. I'm like, God, she's... <laughs> one, one time my mom got out of the shower and started drying herself and this, like, this giant rain spider crawled from her towel onto her. And she got the no. uh -uh. I'm screaming. Yeah. I'm screaming. Like <laughs> a little bitch. And if, if I had a nickel for it, well, a cent? A rand? I don't know. For every time I put my foot in a shoe and there was a Parktown prawn in there, I'd have two nickels, oh. but it's kind of weird that it happened five times. No, that is that is the worst. That, the Parktown prawns are way worse than spiders. They are. Like, they're cool. I mean, rain spiders like, get used to them. They, they're not aggressive. They just like freak you out and surprise you in the bathroom. But Parktown prawn in your shoe. A bad day. For for the non South Africans, that's what a bar is for a bar top for us. No, please don't. Oh. What the yeah. fuck is oh, that? I thought it was like... a spider. No, it's so that's much like worse. That's like cockroach. That's like what's called cricket. Mm -hmm. Like a grasshopper cockroach hybrid, but bigger. It's, it's, it's spiky. One of those were, was in your shoe, depending on your shoe size, I guess, but that could pick up the whole shoe. Like, that's, they're huge. Yeah, but I've been seeing, like, one in a zoo, and I just thought, fuck. I haven't seen them in years by me, so I'm happy. It's true, we they may be going them. extinct. <laughs> I think they've all gone to cage now. We, we used to have them at our old house all the time, and my fucking cat, Phoenix, not the new one, um, would just bring them into my... <laughs> oh, no. All the time, and he'd always have like the black gunk that they spit like on his nose. 
So he just always had like this, this disgusting black gunk in his nose that I had to like get a tissue and get out for him. So they like squirt this black gunk. And it's just, yeah, that's like acid. They actually they'd make a good D and D monster. But <laughs> anyway, you guys. <laughs> Speaking of being covered in black gunk, yeah, um, you guys have arrived at the bathhouse. I feel like it should be a thing that's only found in Australia. <laughs> hey, for example, we'll beat up a lot of things in Australia. <laughs> this is the last thing Australia needs. More than <laughs> really cruelly could have. Uh, you guys have arrived at the bathhouse, and the majordomo it seems very happy to be seeing you all. As uh, yeah, she already is standing there and greeting you, Elias. As you make your way in first, she will um, she will try and stop you at first because she'll say, "I'm sorry, we are closed." But oh, and then she'll see everyone else with you. Oh, oh you're back! You're back! <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I just kind of like stand to one side, just waiting for everyone else to come in and lead the way. Yeah, Elias, you'll see on the left-hand side of the room, there is a, a symbol above the door that says, looks like there's men, and the other side, woman, um, as the, you are just in the reception room, but if it bows to you, Seto, as you will. What's about the changeling going? Hey, what? Hey, what? The changelings are a problem, but Lady June is the, the back, if, if you're looking for her. She's back? Well, we heard a splash. We, we thought someone was invading, but it seems like it was just her. If she may be... I'm not sure what the hell... I mean, where were you? I think she may be corrupting the pool. She's using, but we can clean it, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, a long story, but uh, if we started talking, you probably wouldn't even believe us. It's, it, it's, yeah. Maybe, maybe we can talk about it next time, like once. I completely understand. Uh, we should also talk about the fire salamander. We weren't sure what to do with it, but the daimyo thought this was the best place for it. So we put it in the in the pools under the waterfall. It seems to have calmed and is much happier now. But uh, if you see any uh, burns or destruction, we will take care of it soon. We are trying to get it done as soon as we could. I mean, as quickly as possible. Sorry, I have to Has everything been running smoothly here? Uh, very well. There is um, the coffers are full. If if you would like to make your payment, we have not seen you in a little while. And it, they like look at each other and they suddenly remember something about an egg, and then they just like roll their eyes like it must have been some kind of prank. Um, but they'll say it is good to have you back. I hope you've been well as well. And that there was no too much troublemakers, and that uh, obviously you have paid yourself. I would assume. Uh, we were waiting for you, sir, but we have we have been doing fine. We are are fed and and well. Thank you for your concern. But we will do so um, tonight, if actually, if that is possible. It is the end of the month, after all. Sure, but let me just first go and uh, take a good rest. We didn't really have a good rest in so long, so maybe after a, a bath you can prepare a feast for us. We can then we can talk about time. everything and the you know the payment and everything else. Yes, I mean don't worry about working out the finances if that I can. Take care of that and bring, bring your salary to you if you like. But 
we will sure, uh, get some food prepared and uh, enjoy the baths. They should be actually quite nice and warm now with Alamander. I wouldn't mind trying them myself. <laughs> yeah, no worries. If you want, uh, you're free to go. We can just lock the door and we won't take anybody else tonight. And also, don't forget to give yourself a little bit of a bonus on the salary. You've been working very hard in my absence, and I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, Lord Seto. We will greatly appreciate that. And she gives a bow. And, um, yeah, they will. He'll send uh, Haritsky to go and start begin preparing some, some food before they lock up for the night. Okay, I'll ask. Come here. Let me show you the, the surroundings. Yeah. It is uh, 10 30, so as you guys, you're welcome to play in here. I will be right back. Um, Oh fuck is that up there? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we don't, what the fuck is he doing here? No, Groudon? What what's his name? Yeah, it's Groudon. What the fuck is Groudon? No, it's Groudon, dude. What the fuck is he doing here? Can we capture Did anybody have a master ball? <laughs> I have a Pokeball, but not a master it's, ball. It's funny because I've I've been playing like Fan made Pokemon games lately. Pokemon Fusion on Randomizer is really funny. I'm sorry, but the fusions, because Pokemon Fusion, you fuse Pokemon and you find like fused Pokemon. So, like, for example, Gardevoir and Ho Oh. And that one actually looks really cool. But you get some really fucking whack ones and abominations that should not exist. Um, it's wild. It's wild. It's great. It's wild. <laughs> I loved the uh, Ruby Nuzlocke. Those are my favorite ones. So fun, dude. I've considered trying a Nuzlocke, but I don't think I'm good enough. It's so much fun. It doesn't even matter if you're good enough. It's so much fun. Because the thing is, is that, like, in 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 the one that I'm playing at the moment, I absolutely just suck, um, and my my Pokemon aren't aren't super great, so it's like I go through like four Pokemon fainting and a trainer battle, and then I go back to the Pokemon Center and and heal them, and then go back and fight the next trainer and go back to the Pokemon Center, you know. So if I, I if I was to play in Nuzlocke on that game, I I would have just been Pokemonless ages ago. But yeah, if you if you're wanting laughs or or just it's also pretty long because you go through I think the Johto and the Kanto region. But yeah, um. My boyfriend was like, uh, let's play a Pokemon game. And I was like, okay. And we downloaded it and we, we played it together and just looked at the fucking hilarious abominations. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Uh, are you guys, is everyone still here? Are you ready to play? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Barry, I see you still standing in the entrance there. You, that's because you've gone to the forge. I could... <laughs> okay. oh, that's why I didn't move myself. Uh, I, I think you're missing Indra as well. Uh, yeah, he is not yet on the map. Um, we will actually then... Is there anything you guys are doing here in the bathhouse as you arrive? Before we go and see what Jerry's up to. I'll just soak. 
I would show both of them where the stuff is, and I would slowly start getting my way towards the big fucking thing that I don't know what the fuck it is, or... Right. Pretty much the time. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> I imagine the sound he makes is just... <laughs> 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 I don't know why, that's the first, my first uh, inkling. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's exactly the sound you hear. As you see the giant fire salamander happily like frolicking underneath the uh the waterfall it seems to be enjoying itself. You know it's sitting right like in that portal, um and is probably making a mess. It it is definitely warming the pools and they've got this glow coming off of them, the steam rising. It seems like the hot springs are hotter than they've been in a while. Are you going all the way up there? I know there might be walls in your way. Yeah, there are walls. But I'd, I would probably just hop onto this. On Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'd hop there. How big is this fucking thing? Is it, like, huge? I think it's gargantuan, technically. Um, That size, oh, but oh, it's oh. not... I mean, you fought your things, I think, at this point. But it is taking up that entire pool, as you see it on the map. That is to scale. But you would remember that you and Sakura, at one point, I think, were discussing taking a, a quest to go and hunt this thing down. And this is the the creature that um, we're talking about. We wanted to hunt him down? There was, a like, a bounty. He, it, was, it was causing trouble in the um, in the forests nearby, it seems oh, the really? crab clan has that you guys had an encounter with fortress on the way back. Yeah, because when they are not submerged, they are not the hat. Well, so they need to be under like. Oh. Yeah, you can make a nature check to see if you know uh, anything about this, but I'll say you have got advantage because there was a whole quest about this at some point. I needed that advantage. <laughs> okay, yeah, so um, you remember just the, the main thing was that the thing was causing fires and when it doesn't when it doesn't get submerged in water it becomes a like a raging fiery beast. Oh. They hate being they hate being dry. So, yeah, you can see the way it's sitting underneath the, the waterfall. It's in its happiest place, <laughs> and it seems to actually be heating the waters nicely. So, it might not be a bad deal. Would I know if uh, probably they're capable fighters even in the water, right? Yeah, it, it seems like they go into a more Acid state if they submerge. Okay. Well, I don't know what the fuck is this guy doing here, but I guess we'll find out tomorrow. As long as he doesn't try shady stuff. Even though, we, oh god, I'm gonna have to go past to him if we ever decide to go back. <sighs> I'll just look at him and I'll just. Does he have like any reaction at all? Like this, he just chilling. You see, as it, as you're kind of standing there, you see its mouth begin to open as though you think it's going to speak, and then you see a tongue like wrap around the side of the mouth and just lick over its eye, and then back into its mouth, and it just like stares at you with this kind of blank expression. You get the imp impression that this is not an intelligent creature. Um, oh, it just looks like a giant gecko. He is just what like fuck, me. Jerry. <laughs> Straight up chilling. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll just hop down here into this pool and just relax for a bit. And try to clean myself to the best of my abilities and shrink myself down to become a normal cat again, not a ruffian that I have been. Past, past couple of weeks. 
Alright, which which pool did you say you're going into? I can just move it. This one. Okay. Yeah, you go and have a nice soak on the other side there, June. Um and Elias, you'll be able to overhear this from where you are just on the other like line of trees that separates uh, the bathhouse. Um Z will come through on the woman's side and notice you there. Are you still in disguise or? No, I'm um, I'm actual June now. Uh, just kind of le- uh, leasing, uh, leasing back, uh, lean back on the back of the sauna, eyes closed, literally just chilling right now. You hear a splash as Z climbs into the, the same one. He goes, "Hey, there you are. We were wondering where you disappeared to. Uh, you uh, you okay? You and." Sakura, okay, and she's sort of looking around to see if she's here as well. I mean, you heard from Jerry, but she's making sure. Yeah, June opens one eye and sees it's G, and just uh, June goes, oh, this thing's been so difficult. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, she just, uh, again, leans back and uh, finds a little spot and <laughs> just relaxes a little bit. Uh, Sakura and I just had a fight. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh shit! Seto was saying that you two probably would have killed each other if that's what had happened. I mean, is she okay? Yeah, she's just by her edgy sons now. She got killed earlier. Oh, okay. Good then. What? I mean, I don't mean to pry, but. What were you fighting over? Is, is that something we need to worry about? We're supposed to fall in in front of Daichi tomorrow and hopefully get chosen for the Genpuku. It's probably not a great idea to do that if you guys are going to be at each other's throats. But you've resolved it. As long as she doesn't fight me, I won't fight her. Simple as that. I guess that's something. Um, yeah, Elias and actually Seto, because you've got 26 passive perception. You guys <laughs> would both hear that as they are the only other people in the bathhouse at the moment. You kind of just overhear this main conversation nearby. Are you guys going to do anything or get involved? Mm, no. Um... I'm very sleepy, tired. I'd be ear dropping, but wouldn't really be joining. One thing yeah. June will do is mage hand the crossbow bolts. Um, uh, well, let's face Elias shot and drops it right next to him. <laughs> Elias, as you like. Really starting to enjoy these pools. The waters are really revitalizing and nice and warm. And it's been a long time since you've just been able to catch your breath. You hear the little the clittering, <laughs> the, the clanking of what I can't, the word is gone. <laughs> you uh, hear the crossbow bolt nice. land next to you. Oh, I mean, the sound it made. I just all the onomatopoeia left my head. <laughs> <laughs> You you so, notice it there, and you you've heard him nearby speaking. I just look it in, and I just oh. <laughs> <laughs> just that's it. That's all the reaction I have. Back to, back to chilling. <laughs> yeah, you will see that on the the sort of tip of the. The arrow there is a little bit of what looks like it blood but might be some sort of echo it's hard to tell in the, the light here but it's just like not worth dealing right now and um hey, you all will basically be able to settle in here for a long rest uh those of you that are here Yahoo. as we are going over to Jerry, up the mountain in the forge where he is now.
There you go. Jerry, you arrive outside your forge. Um, Spike is around somewhere. For now, you make your way inside. Yep. Slowly walking these sort of familiar holes from, from the different times. It is a quite a trip seeing them now old again. The like this is the strangest nostalgia because you remember finding this place the first time and they already looked old. And you now also have the rem memories of building this place with Arkoth and like making it all brand new yourselves so you are now aware of a few little secret uh, things in this place that i will leave up to you like little secret passageways or like hidden compartments things like that whatever you might have put into this place you can interpret how you like but you know this place way better now um and the staircases in here actually work again so you can use those, but what would you like to do? The fire is still going. It seems happy to see. Okay, I, I'm a little bit meta gaming, but you have to excuse me because I have a quest here in the forge. <laughs> the I, one dwarf. from the dwarf from the fire realm. Oh yeah, yep. sorry, it's been a long time. <laughs> Yeah, do I like okay, find so scatter somewhere, or do I have to just making sure? It's bad. Let me just quickly open it up so I can uh, remember. So no, you would have there would be a gift waiting for you on the in the middle of the place on the the main table with that um with that letter that says to Jerry something to keep the fires alive when you aren't home, and that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. The, the, yeah. So you would have would be a, a crate, and you'd easily be able to uncrate it. There would be a bunch of basalt wood and large salt bellows. That yeah, and instructions on how to a recipe scroll for a bow. I will add this to your character sheet. Sorry, it's just uh, lagging a little bit. What are you doing as you find them? Yeah, I'll take them with me to the forge and place them on one of the anvils and focus on the finishing the sword for now. Okay, yeah, I'd say you can, you would be able to make another um, at least two hours progress up here. Are you going to try and work quite late into the night, try to get as much time as you can. Yeah, let's see my situation. I shouldn't be too tired. I slept for 200 years. Uh, I will, yeah, I will maybe work a bit later than usual. As much as I can, so I won't be late tomorrow morning. Okay, so, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm moving this stuff over. So, the. Ah, I thought I actually had a thing. So, apparently, I can't move over um, custom items, but if you could just note down maybe in DD Beyond the Salt Beach Wood, otherwise, you can just look in the quest, we'll keep it open. Yeah, I'll you can. Real quick. And then we also need to make actually for both Seto and Jerry. Um, let me pause the clock here because I need to make for each of you a downtime for the sword you're crafting. As I don't know, did everyone get a chance to read the little sword crafting guide? Yeah. I took a look at it. Yeah. You said you'll give us more information. I don't think unless you edit, oh, you can really edit. Anything there? 
yeah, so I I did mean to speak more, but this week you got away from me. Um, I there are a couple of things. If if it's got a material like if it's got a, a material cost, I mean, like if you see a gold value, those are things that you can use. Otherwise, you can use that app like if you have already done to make a picture of, and actually make a design for your sword. Yeah, which or have a picture. Yeah, like those the pictures are. I mean, that's very Christmassy, but they those are those are very cool, but actual mechanics of the sword um, are going to rely on things like the Manuki pins that you pick and will also determine how much the sword's going to cost. In theory, so, okay, sorry. they should be paying for your... The, the Dragon Clan should be paying for all of your swords. Hinaga's paying for Elias's. Um, but Barry and Seto, you guys were actually crafting your own swords. You might be able to make something even better using all of that whole yeah, crafting I'm trying, guide. I'm trying to scroll up to find it. Maybe I'll... Okay, there we go. Found it on my computer. I do have materials to make swords that were already at the forge. Yeah. You have to excuse me because I don't remember everything <laughs> that was written there. Okay, I'm trying to just... <laughs> Yeah, I found the file, but it has a little type of seal, but I'm not sure how it will affect the weapon. Uh, is it a specific like material kind of type, like an, an ingot? Yeah, so that basically the, the first two steps in that guide are about like making ingots, and then you go into the actual sword that you want to make with those. We Unless it's a specific, like, if you're trying to make it out of, like, a meteor ore or something, um, then you're probably just using regular steel, which is not hard to come by. Yeah, I already have a lot of iron ingots. I have iron. I don't know if it's an ingot or not. Yeah, I think you probably did find that. Um, I mean, if it yeah, just I is iron, then it would be I, an ingot. I, I have too. a list. Entirely, that everything we found here. Yeah, I have iron. 101 ingots. Okay, yeah, so you, you are good. Well, I guess I, yeah, I did work on it in the forge in the, in the in Paton, so I'm not sure which step I'm on at the moment. Yeah, I'm trying to make it as a downtime thing for you and, and Seto, but just for now, you can. Um, yeah, what are you going to try and do in the forge? Are you just working on that? For now, yeah. Well, at least from the... Yeah, we'll work on it. I see the steps. Four first steps are just shaping the sword. So it's and just smith checks until I get to the magical part. Is, yeah, so there's I think there's four checks. There may be, I think, Let's see entirely. No, so there's a there's a table that you can get quickly. There's um, yeah, four checks. Yeah, so it's it's four checks, and then it's just for making the actual blade itself. The last check is like the the finalization. So you would make your first uh, check was the one that you guys made at. The other thing to purify the steel and actually start like holding steel, you know. Okay, so yeah. I'll make my second check now. So you would have already spent the, the four ingots for a, a Wakazashi, and that would have been, yeah, one of, of four checks. So basically, two hours um, spent working on that. And now you could do your second one, which is to uh, go back to actually forging the blade and um, forging the different kinds of metal together. The two. You've got like the high carbon part and um, something else, I can't remember. Lo yeah, high carbon and low carbon they layer on top of each other. Yeah, so... so... I'm trying to make this actually a little bit more interesting than just 
I can rolling dice, it's so checks, lean into yeah, it however yeah. you like. Yeah, the blade will not have any different look. I'm keeping it fairly simple. It's the all around it will be looking different. Yeah, the where it comes in is after this, so this is to make sure that um the the blade is not going to be fragile. If you fail this second check, it would uh, just uh, shatter on the next. Like if you when you try and quench it, it might shatter. Yeah, it should be thirty-seven. It didn't double my proficiency <laughs> bonus. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> uh, what is the? I I can't see the DC. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I think it's DC. fourteen for a workers Yeah, it's a fourteen. I can't fail. <laughs> I can't fail on any of them. Technically, yeah. unless I want to show one. It's pretty simple to get, but uh, so. I'm not sure how many checks I can make before I have to go to sleep, so I'm delayed tomorrow. Yeah, so that's two hours, so that would be that would take you to um, to, like just before midnight, uh, about eleven o'clock. So it's up to you. You you're about halfway through with that one, but at this at this point you have forged a blade, and the next next step would be to coat it, and that usually requires someone with arcane knowledge if you want to try and make this a magical blade. If you don't, you can just make it a like it would be an just an uncommon blade, I think. Um oh no, it's it's non magical if you fail. So you would be able to in, imbue some basic stuff, but if you want to make this like a legendary blade, you may need some help from someone else. So you might want to do that tomorrow. Yeah, I will wait for tomorrow with the coating. Get some uh, arcane assistance. Okay. Well, so then, are you just gonna uh, spend the night in the forge? I do want to start making something else. This is the basic thing. Yeah, you can do that. How much wood did he give me? <laughs> just. Yeah. There's quite a bit. I mean, uh, enough to if you want to start working on the bow. I want to make something else. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to make. What do you? Yeah, I keep forgetting. What's the name? The the sheath. They're called. Suba. What? Yeah, the sire. No, the suba is the hand guard. The sire is the sheath. Yeah. Put yeah. The sheath. I want to make them out of that wood. Okay, yeah, that's um you do it afterwards if you not Yeah, you forward. generally need the the blade to see what you're going to be sheathing cuz so I suppose you've got that but no, 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 no. I'll keep it for tomorrow. I'll just go to sleep. No need to. It's not for me. That's why I'm saying it. Okay, yeah, I mean you can if you're trying to carve a a sheet that's a slightly different skill set, but I have can... woodcarver tools proficiency. Yeah, then you can you can try and make a check with those and um try and make a basic good your basic sheet without like lacquered being lacquered and designed and stuff. Yeah, I forgot to add them to the sheets so well manually is it it's dex third is it this based on dexterity score? The wood carver tools. I'm pretty sure Seto used it when he started making the little statue, whatever it was, when he was carving way in the beginning of the campaign. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, that makes sense for sleight of hand. So that would be just a plus 12. Oh. What kind of a fourteen. Oh, what? For what How weapon? are you going to make this for a Wagazashi or for a katana or what for a size? Katana. Is this one? Then that would uh, not be enough. This would you'll realize that it's quite hard and actually kind of brittle. And um, as you're trying to work with it, that's just not enough, and it sort of crumbles. You're going to have to make another attempt as that wood is wasted. It takes you two hours. 
Dude, then sit down. for two hours, then I'm going to bed. Okay, so yeah, hammering the anvil much easier than uh, and make these perfect scabbards as you take a long rest. I think that's pretty much everyone except for Astraea, who I would like to make a check to try and make one of those scrolls as you have been performing music tonight uh, and writing all of this you can give me an arcana or performance we didn't do this check yet right uh yeah. we did it previously but i can do it oh you did the you did the charisma the performance so this time give me the arcana for actually trying to transcribe it Okay, a fifteen, yeah, with the um with the sheet music that you, you had there that will be enough to create one scroll of teleportation. But only one unfortunately. I mean of teleportation circle. That's you. And with that, um, yeah, I think everyone can take a long rest, and we will go to the following day. So it says it's filthy yet, so I'm happy. I will switch my equipment real quick. What did you say? Seto hasn't killed me yet, so I'm happy. <laughs> okay, someone explain me this math. 1d6 plus 4 gets out to be okay. a, a 4. How can you get that? He says for me 9. Because you got 9 shards to die. Yeah, but this. Five already had five charge. That's what the five is. No, it, it was re it was recharged by nine, I think. It, it said it's recharged a nine. by nine charge. So it adds nine to whatever you had. At least that's how I interpret it. Oh, perfect. I think I think Estrella is right. Actually, with the way that Foundry is doing it, it's just saying it had five charges left and then um only got four, but it should get minimum five more. But, well, then just roll a d6. <laughs> yeah, I think it just hasn't rolled the, the dice is all that's happened. So you can roll a d6. Uh, just I shake just it. Say it. Just it say no, it actually... Uh, Jerry is actually right. It did that. Yeah, so it did add. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, it's just very confusing. It, so it rolled a 5. But, ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. <clears throat> I thought you were... Uh, basing it on how many you had before, but um, as we get to the next morning, Jerry, are you going to uh, be staying at the forge during the day, or are you going to go meet up with the others? I'll go meet up with the others. All right, so we can, uh, and then what about you, Sakura? Are you, as you next morning wake up feeling refreshed again, are you going to try and find them, or what do you do? Thanks. Um, I, I just got back. Um, I think she would probably go to the bathhouse. I think she'd assume they're there because it's where they usually are. Well, usually kind of sleep. They. Yeah. Okay. Well, you will be able to catch up with them at the bath. <clears throat> Is, is there like a maturity role to see how like mature she can be? Automatic fail. It's up to you. I mean, <laughs> no, that's up to you. You can roll whatever you like. Automatic yeah. fail. Sanity saving throw. <laughs> so, uh, real quick uh, point of order. 
uh, during the night, you guys would not know where June is. Uh, she would have been very far away, but she would come back in the morning. Okay. And um, Jim knows what I'm alluding to. I mean, sort of. <laughs> uh, about 300 feet away. <laughs> Intent. <laughs> Well, I mean, does she know that? She hasn't technically identified this. Oh, that's also a fair point. Yeah, she doesn't know that yet. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So you can, I will say that um, at least on this first night, you, you wouldn't be aware of it because there have been some some hints towards it, but um, this first night, you would, where would you be? sleeping at the bathhouse or <clears throat> I mean yeah she'll probably sleep at the bathhouse and probably do some light reading through it but yeah <laughs> uh, she probably wouldn't realize about that uh, property until the next day okay cool so then yeah the next uh, the next morning um, I don't know, Z would be sitting sort of doing some breakfast and she looks like she rings under her eyes as as she is sitting there. But uh, Sakura, you arrive there in the in the morning, and you can see that Fiorike has just opened up nice and early. And as you greet her, she she'll greet you back and uh, say, "Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm glad you are looking well. We we missed you last night. Are you doing all right?" For the most part, um, glad I got to catch up with my Uji son and um, have his really good tea. I don't know where he gets those leaves, they're exemplary. Well, your Uji son grows them yourself. Surely you, you knew that? I mean, he is the, the local botanist, as it were. He probably does. I mean, you would know that, like, he always says that. He's also leaving it, isn't it? Because it is really good. And he's like, I've seen that garden. It doesn't look as delicious. Now you do know that he, he does a lot of work in the Sakura forest, so um, he may get some magic to leave. It might be worth investigating. Mm. Okay, you will... Uh, they will say we are just we're just preparing breakfast. The others, I think, are are just waiting on the other side. We'll come back to the bathhouse. I got to Gazamas and she'll bow and go sleep. All right. Um, Seto and Elias, as you guys make your way through in the morning, you not sleep well. There was a, it was actually quite a, a disruptive night of sleep, and I would like both of you to please give me a wisdom saving throw. What? Oh, really? Oh, Don't worry, it's nothing, it's nothing hectic. <laughs> it's just... Okay, you, you guys are fine, but you did have some horrible nightmares last night. It would be just all the time travel and things, but it was... We're having some dark dreams, to say the least. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, you don't understand. A significant reason why I'm against you right now isn't because I care about what's evil, what's not. It's because you're fucking with my sleep. <laughs> There's nothing sacred. Uh... <laughs> yeah, doing. You see, Indra sort of wander out into the. Gardens that we're sitting in, and go, oh, 
This is quite nice. Uh, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Just a quick description of that aura I was talking about. It's like uh, when you're looking at June, it's like this there's something in like your peripheral vision. You could look at it, it's not there anymore. It's that type of thing. It's like something. <clears throat> Indra does not react. Like expecting it. This is the first person you've seen this morning and you've noticed it. He just seems to ignore it completely. <laughs> As a player from the first campaign, I know <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> uh, I think he entered the room and she saw Kara. How does she look? Like she look like beaten up, or she just looks normal? I'm just wondering why Sucker's in the guy's bathroom, but <laughs> oh shit! <Yeah. laughs> um, she seems she was she was lucky in that. Um, she's like. Well, she's like you did see them just opening the place, so you know there's no one other than probably your friends inside. I do imagine if there's a peek inside first to just check and make sure. Um, though she does look, she does look like she's she's been through it. I, I will say you have some bruising and whatnot, even though your hit points are back. Sakura, you can describe what you look like. Um, probably very tired. Um. Too smooth. More emotional than she would be wearing a new kimono. Well, a different kimono, because I I feel like with that many eldritch blasts and shit, um, that one would be not in great shape. So she would have asked her Oji son to repair it for her. Um. And, um, I don't know if she's tired. She probably had a really good night's sleep after the, the, the tea. She's not looking too bad. A little bit tired, but for the most part, she looks okay. There wasn't really hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know? I feel like magic battles don't have the same effect as physical battles. Like, physical battles, you come out and you have bruises and cuts, but I feel like magic battles probably have more effect internally than, like, externally. Well, we've seen June blast limbs off of people, so there's, there's definitely some, <clears throat> some marks, and, I mean, bruises are happening internally, too, so there there is... You you can see when someone's been beaten up, but you're right. They are definitely um, it does leave different kinds of marks. But you know, they, it depends on the spells being used. I will like your disintegration the... definitely leaves a burn. It leaves like yeah. a hard kind of necrotic burn on it. It's, it depends on the energy and the type of damage. Mm. Yeah, I will mention June, uh, June did exercise um, some restraint when using the Eldritch Blast. She didn't. You know, go for like clonal flims or whatever with Sakura. She did try not to hurt her, only knock her out. Yeah, no, I mean, you would have been dead if she'd <laughs> like been trying to kill you, that she had the opportunity. But, um, you are so yeah, you, you're looking a bit up more from all of you are looking this way from the last week that you've had. Uh, but okay, you're feeling all right. You're all able to walk, and no one's got any broken bones. But yeah, she she accidentally goes into the the men's restroom. And she's like, "Oh shit, sorry. Um, it's 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 been a while since we've last been here. Yeah. Um, and she'll scurry out. I'll just casually." move towards Sakura and just pat her on the head and just lower my head to her level and just like kindly tap her and say Are you okay kiddo? You look a little bit lost. Um I I I, I kind of 
I kind of just forgot which way was which. Okay. He looks very embarrassed. And and is hoping that the guy's wearing at least some form of clothing when she went in there. Towels. Okay, good. Hello, is it naked? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> First thing he did when he got there is just like, oh, finally, this leather jacket really starts to stink of you. <laughs> well, any mass and fresh and clean again. Like any, anything that you got on you from the future, you're all feeling cleaned up. Um, we'll hear voices on the other side as Z is also going to join you there now. Uh, I guess you won't leave them in the restroom and would kind of just chill there and tell Cersei about what happened yesterday. I mean, there's the garden. Yeah, we're going for breakfast. We can discuss okay. that there. Okay, she'll, she'll go with. Yeah, she, she has forgotten her way around a bit. It's out of game. It's been like months. Okay. And the doors were closed. That's fine, I just want to get changed. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, yeah, as you walk through, um, you'll see Haritsky sort of walking through with the tray and she'll see you on the other side of the room, Tucker, but sitting in front of her is June. As you guys see each other, uh, Haritsuki is coming in to put down a tray of food. Yeah, June's just um, drinking some uh, miso soup, a little bit of rice, pretty basic. Not really... um, Showing much when everybody enters, she's just calmly eating her breakfast. Uh, Sako did not roll very well on her maturity roll, so she's kind of just ignoring your existence. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> if it wasn't that one, she would have been like that immature kid being like, "Oh, why is that? Why is that food floating? Where is it going?" You know. But <laughs> luckily, it was a three. Okay. And just like looking between the two of you, like there's a cut of tension with a knife, but he's just like leans forward and takes one of the little like buns from the the tray. Is a is a nice place you've all got here. Eats it with. Yeah, we acquired this place. Uh, uh, how long? We it been? a few a few weeks ago. We. What do you mean we? Can? You. Yes, that's more like it. I don't like how you smell, June. <laughs> you you smell. You smell. A lot more similar to the June that kind of went and ate a moon than your old self. Did you do something? So it's okay, it's not right now. We will talk about it later. I don't like the idea that Seto remembers how people smell. <laughs> then yeah. it's like me remembering everything exactly how it happened for the past thirty days. That's a bit creepy, but no one ever complains about that because it's useful. <laughs> the smelling can be you useful also, as well. You can you, you can also smell don't. You also don't tell people 
<laughs> you smell different. <laughs> well, she she is different. So we can point that out. It's a bit racist. To, to, to insult the fact that he has good Seth, smell. Seth is just choking on the bun he's eating <laughs> when he hears the word racist. Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Dude, do we ever say, oh, you're a human, you can't do anything cool like smell people? No. Smelling people is. That's that's Curious. criminal behavior. <laughs> so, what? You guys are weird. Silkra so is being very defensive of Sosa right now. She's she's just like standing off. She's in silence through this entire thing. <laughs> June, did you, like, knock Sakura's head, or... What? Well, I mean, it's not like I was on stage <laughs> and didn't hold the bottle, either. And, like, do you ever say to June, you know, it's criminal behavior that you can literally turn into anyone and then turn back and commit crimes as that person. And you know that person doesn't exist. No. So why is it? Oh, you know what? That Funnily and smell well. Okay. How about? I would say that because doing crimes is in fact criminal behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know what you want from me. A good sense of smell isn't isn't like criminal. Explicitly smelling people is strange. You do understand that I didn't mention your odor? You mean more like the scent of someone? No, I just no. meant that... You can smell the negative energy, or a positive energy, from someone. Basically how cats can... basically sense the danger. Or not even just the cats. So you're telling me you can smell danger? No, it's just a figure of speech, Elias. Do you have to be a smart ass? We don't need to. Yeah, it just smells like shit, or it smells like not. I don't understand. Dribble, like, say, yeah, it's it's not so much smelling with this, but with this, and he points from his nose to like. The middle of his forehead, as though, like pointing to a third eye. It's like I think that's what he sort of means. Like there's a, a vibe that you can, you know, you can sense it, and sometimes that comes through smell. I get that. And it's just sort of like put my head in my hand. It's just like that's not what smelling is. But you, your brain, accepts it as a sensory, thing, right? You feel it, so. It's going to come through one of your senses. Maybe the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, or maybe you smell something weird, and it is off-putting, and it tells you that there's something you should be aware of. Something change? Doing uh, was it? Now, you've just admitted to me you also smell people. <laughs> I mean, sometimes. And you kill people. That's worse. I kill people who deserve to be killed. Well, they smell people who deserve to be killed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> huh, I, I don't have anything to say to that. <laughs> While this conversation of talking about smelling people is great, I'm sure we uh, need to get to our meeting, don't we? <clears throat> That's in Gee. when? You know, with Daiju? No, oh. what, ha when? Like, how long do we have? I don't know whether you explicitly said when, but 
since we're all here and we're waiting for Jerry, it's a good chance that... I mean, that fucker probably won't even come here, he'll probably just move to die to the castle. Just so... get... get... get feasted and... at least dress up more lightly, because we're you're going into... Did I tell you present? what, then? I would... I would like to see if I can just quickly grab something. What do you want? Uh, do you have an armorer? Do I have what? In, in this, in total, do you have an armorer? Someone who does armor stuff? You mean armor smith? Probably gets one eye. We used to call them armorers, but armor smith, yeah. Yes, we have one in total. Yes. I would like to see if I can quickly grab something. Yeah, sure. It's on the way to the castle anyways, we can just make a stop. I'm sure Monai oh. will be happy to see us. You can probably also sell stuff you don't need. That's interesting. Why is that Why is interesting? Because I have a lot of shit I don't need. <laughs> There's also the shinobi blacksmith. Might be more your style. He does more Ooh. weapons and things. So. Oh, I don't need much. I, I, I'm literally just trying to get studded leather, and that, that's it. <laughs> I just want just plus one AC. That's it. Just... It was a lie since AC. It's 17 now, it used to be 16 for, uh, from when I showed up first. Mine is 18, don't worry about it. Is that, Jerry, have you tried your... Oh, speaking of which, actually, sorry, I forgot to put you down, so <laughs> you get Jerry alive, of course. Um, they would have welcomed you in, but uh, you walked through the <laughs> the woman died. <laughs> as, yeah, uh, <laughs> she's, <with> <laughs> I thought she's going the right way. Yeah, now I'll go there. <laughs> Must have swapped yeah. signs around or something. You okay? I didn't mix them up. Wearing <laughs> brand new armor. No, entirely black, and he has like a short red cape. Like only on the right shoulder, it's connected. Oh shit, speaking of armors, he says, check out Jerry's new kit. Where'd you get that? I had it for a while. I just couldn't use it until now. It'll give me the, the less oomph I needed against some pesky spellcasters. You look and you know, you look more like a bat than a mouse. I will call you <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I mean, mouse was right there. I, I feel like the Batman. Have you ever, I mean it just put his hands up because we've seen some shit in, in the Fey run, you get actual people. You don't have those yet? Bad people? Yeah, you never seen a bad person? I mean I've never seen one, but I'm 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 sure that they exist. I'll tell you they're a lot uglier, uglier than this little fellow. Uh, I mean no offense, I think. It's just like not sure if that was <laughs> mean or not. But Yeah, you guys are all Together now, other than Estrella, who I'd never really got an answer from. Are you staying in town this morning, or were you gen joining them at the house as well? Oh, he's, he's, uh, sleeping. Yeah, cool. So, uh, you guys are all back together now, and you were just discussing possibly heading into, into town to fall in with Aichi. Um, 
if you want to get some things done along the way, probably good to go now, as this is your last day before the festival begins tomorrow, and the armies will be marching this evening, so what would you like to do? Finish up with the meeting with Damio, and then get our last preparations in. Me and Sarosin yeah. finish the blades and distract where I can help. We're not that big on the arcane part of the of the crafting. Yeah, sure. Okay. Are you going to take Andrew with you to meet with the daimyo, or are you going to leave him here? He's sort of offered to like some work for you here while he, while he's here. Um, yeah, you whether or not you take him with you. Uh, I mean, you probably get bored here. I appreciate your uh, offer, but it really depends on you. If you want to stick around, we don't mind having you. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to uh, intrude. It sounds like you've got some important things to deal with. There is, I mean, I've seen quite a few things I'd like to explore already. There's, I mean, do you know if there are any monasteries around here? Perhaps I could go and pick out one of those while you are doing your work and then meet you back here whenever you are coming back. Oh, I'll probably be. There's the one up in the mountain, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll go and. Check it out. I mean, that mountain that's right here, I saw a path leading up there, but I, I wasn't sure last night it was. He'll go. And he'll be going to check out the monastery. Then are you guys? Then the last little bit of that. He lagged out a bit, so I was trying to see if you. Uh, yeah, I just didn't hear. Uh, that sorry, <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, okay, no response. Nice. Um, <laughs> he he said that he saw a path up into the mountain last night, but he wasn't sure. Uh, is that the, is that the way that you are recommending? Yeah, yeah, that's probably the one. Just follow it up to the monastery. The monks there are weird. Yeah, so. also, uh, if you see any goblins, uh, don't try to go after them. Weird shit can happen. Or red and green dragons. <laughs> those, those are bad too. There's dragons? There's dragons in these mountains? Well, Green's not you, Strini. Pretty much anything out of the ordinary is left. Unless they're monks. Monks are funny. But particularly goblins and dragons. Don't follow those into the forest. Especially at night, as well. No, that is probably good advice. Uh, thank you. I will keep an eye out. You got a lot of goblins around here? Is that a like a big problem? No. Uh, no, it was, really. it was, it was, uh, an odd occurrence. They are very powerful. They are champions. So they shouldn't just attack you randomly, but don't do anything stupid. And if someone asks you, just say you're on uh, an expedition from Seto's bathhouse. Bath it should should give you a little bit of a background help, I guess. Great, uh, thank you, thank you so much. And he'll he'll bow. And then before you go, uh, Miss Sakura, I would still like to 
speak with you about that artifact of yours um, when you have a chance. But I won't take up any more of your time today. I just hope that you will come and see me when you have a moment. He nods excitedly. You want to go do it now? I still have to do something as well here. If it doesn't take you more than 15 to 20 minutes. He'll jog like that. This could work. He just wants to have a conversation. Yeah. Okay, so Seto, what are you going to try and I'm um, just or... going for money. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So, I have to go collect my money. Uh, yeah, so this, this session is going on a little bit, but do you remember how much you earned last time? I can't find oh, my oh. notes about it right now. I should have it somewhere in the notes. Give me a second. Well, you, if you can find out um, just the, the rate that you guys are meant to be paid, because all of your salaries come here, so everyone should be able to get a little bit of cash money here. Uh, uh, but that's cool. Let's see if you can find that. Um, otherwise, we can. if you can't find it, we will. We can do that uh, out of session, and I'll just update everyone in the loop. That? Yeah. What about the rest of you? Are you guys are you guys heading out? Is um, Indra and Sakura are going to stay behind to have a little conversation? Yeah, uh, I'm heading out, waiting for the outside. Jin wants to really talk to Z. Probably talk to outside. Well, yeah, I mean, you guys could chat in in here as you make your yeah. way out of the garden. You'd have a moment to know. Yeah, as we're walking out, the RC. Well, let's see, did you guys sleep all right last night? Let's see, I didn't look the most chipper this morning. No, honestly, I I think we saw a little bit too many tentacles and eyeballs and things. It was fucked up last night, but, you know, it kind of makes sense after what we've seen. Why, did you have nightmares too? Oh, uh, you know, the usual. Um... Do you mind telling me exactly what you saw? At this point, I'll make an inside check. Yeah, you can make that check. She'll go, I mean, okay. And start describing her dreams. And yeah, with a 16, she will, from what she's describing, you get a very similar image to the space that you were in um, previously, where that obelisk was. Those she describes long caverns that just they seem to lead nowhere but uh, is this everywhere you see shadows there were tentacles like she was lost in some kind of eldritch maze and it was like something was trying to get her but she woke up before it did so it seems like she's not too concerned about it mm-hmm. <clears throat> well You'd like to take like some time, take a take a nap later. You don't want to be super tired in front of the, uh, in front of Daichi. Oh, yeah, that's that's okay. I think I might. I think Australia knows how to make coffee. Maybe we'll maybe we should go past the kitchen first. Because yeah, I probably look terrible. It's like trying to sort of deal with the rings under her eyes. She goes, I've always got the hat, you know. <laughs> she just lowers it down. <laughs> I guess the hangover cure. Anyway. Literally why I started wearing this hat is so people <laughs> couldn't see how red my eyes were getting. It always worked. <laughs> yeah, June will start making her way out after having some more chat with her. will be following you up. As uh, inside, Elias, are you going to hide and eavesdrop, or are you? Uh, oh no! Um, 
yeah, no, I would have already started making my way to the, uh, fuck, uh, oh, no. Shinobi, Warsmith, yes. Shinobi, Blacksmith. Um, well, just, whichever one you, you reckon is all the better, I'll just go to that. We'd, we'd probably all go together, like, if we were all going there, we'd be going together, wouldn't we? Yeah, you guys would be walking into town together, but that's cool to know your destination. As you are, um, you can discuss which way you're heading once we get to town, but Elias, you yeah. would see, like, Seto dealing with some of the stuff that you used Modern. to deal with um, in the... Like, it's quite obvious that they're putting away their books. Good times. Yeah. As far as I can recall in my notes, it says that uh, I'd be earning three cocoa a day, and everybody else would be earning two. But I did die, and I don't know if anybody else got promoted at that point or not. I don't think we've dealt with money since then, honestly. So, um... We dealt with money only once in Kunasa, I think, and they just... We got, like, a bunch of money from the princess do whatever the fuck we want. Damn. It's the only time we use it. money. <laughs> Yeah, so then, uh, what a uh, do you remember what if you joined then Elias? Because it would have been since then. We would probably join like right afterwards or the same session. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Do you remember what the date was? Because we'd know then in game if we've got that anyway, we could work out how many days. But we'll just say for now, just for simplicity because it hasn't been that long it's probably been about a week since then at most um you would get then 30 koku uh seto and everyone else is supposed to get how much two so 20 koku each uh, you're forgetting a week if here is 10 days Fog. lagging um so yeah everyone other than Elias, because you don't work for the dragon <laughs> yeah, fan yet I don't have share. <laughs> oh yeah they they don't all have shares in the setter's getting paid a little bit extra because of the bathhouse money but everyone else is getting paid just for being um it's just their salary as oh. for the military you just money as well that's cute. I'm travel. <laughs> so yeah, if you if you show up to pick up your money, it's like you've you've probably been fighting in the army. It's like the pretty general thing. But if you join today, maybe you'll start earning as well. Join today, earn cuckoo. <laughs> yes, we need you. Maybe something Look at all this money we want to give right to you. So yeah, sorry, inside, um Sakura and Indra, you guys would be having a conversation as he would say, Right, well I, I don't want to keep you, but that thing that you're carrying I I was wondering, well, first of all, where you got it, but also if you know what it is. Um, well, my mom had a flying library, and it was there. I... That is so rude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really don't like you right now. But anyway. Um... Don't mind me. And, um, she kind of tried to kill us, um, and, and she talked about it a bit, uh, so we kind of just took it on the way out. Um, I'm busy trying to figure out all its capabilities of, I, I played with a demi queen a little bit yesterday, um, I'll probably work on it a bit. It's a nice little space. So when you got it, 
Was it already assembled when your mother gave it to you? She nods. And I feel like I'm going to regret asking this, but what is your, what was your mother's name? Um, Anaki Sasaki. Oh. Okay. He seems like he was worried for a second, but then has no idea who the fuck that is. Mm, uh, who are you worried it would be? Well, I mean, in my world, we were given the pieces. I mean, we went through a lot to acquire the pieces of that, or at least something like it. Maybe it's not the same one. It just it looks exactly like the thing we've been working a long time to keep separated and it's kind of our job to make sure that it doesn't get put back together and doesn't fall into the wrong hands and yet here I find you and for some reason our paths are connected I got brought to you I, I don't know why I don't understand any of this time travel crap but you've got the orrery and and he will reach into his side uh, and he will pull from a pouch a piece of the orrery and he'll say and I'm pretty sure this is a part of it she 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 asks if she can look at that piece yeah he'll step closer and and sort of offer it out as though like to compare and you will you will immediately be able to recognize that this is um the the fog gear that is a part that you had. Hmm. She'll kind of take out her orrery and see if it reacts or anything. I mean it doesn't it doesn't seem to um it doesn't seem to like have any interaction between them, but you do notice that the piece is identical. It seems like the, the full orrery that you have, he has definitely got the exact part for it. But it looks like it could be a spare part, you know, you've and you've never seen anything of that make. Mm. I mean, look, I'm no wizard, but these look like the same things, right? Like, this is there's a good chance that your orrery and mine are the same thing from maybe different points in time or something like that. I mean, that's what I'm getting, but I, I'm not sure if I should trust those instincts. Do not. That would make the most sense. Um... Because it seems like quite a unique thing. There couldn't possibly be just one in every universe, in every plain world, wherever you come from. She understands time, but not space so much. The idea of this other world is that is where it loses you a little bit because, um, yeah, the the timeline that you've seen, <laughs> you weren't sure where that opened to. Although you you do know that the gate you opened to the hells was in was the same hells as in your universe. That was like a same plane so he might not come from a different world it may just be from a different time um you're not sure if that's distant future distant past it's impossible to tell and that's where she was going seems unlikely that it would exist in different worlds so it's more likely that you know from this world in the past and this traveled Cross time, I guess. He'll sigh with some disappointment as you say this, and and just go. Oh, I, I was hoping maybe. 
maybe if you had it, that meant that I'll see my friends again and we'd be able to get the other pieces. I mean, they're the ones holding it, so... I mean, your, your world seems amazing, but I, I would like to try and get back to mine. Do you think you could help me do that? Uh, I mean, you do have the power of the orrery. I was just wondering if maybe you could. Well, you seem to know how to use it a bit better, so if you could teach me how to use it properly, um, then I can figure out how to open time gates. Um, then I'll do my utmost best to get you back. He'll like, smile and suddenly look very stern to you about and say thank you. I, I would appreciate that more than you know. I look forward to our training then. Pardon? He says, I look forward to our training then. Ah. Likewise. And she, she smiles back. Cool. And with that, are you going to join the others as they head into town? Yeah. Cool. So, as everyone heads into town, Sakura catches up a little bit later, and um, Astraea, as you are spending the morning there, in Ji's house, you will, you will eventually see them wandering into town as you are basically right next door to the entrance to the throne room. But are you going to be staying at the house, or are you going like into town, into the kitchens or something? Are you, where would they find you? I think I would have been going to the kitchen food. Okay, yeah, so you would still be getting the food at this point, and you would see there's it'd be quite a commotion at, at the kitchens that morning as um there would be a a lord from another castle would would be there and Seems to be quite enjoying himself in the kitchens. Um, double. And this guy that is up there, he, everyone seems to be making quite a fuss over him, and you're not sure who he is. They call him Lord Kayo. You're not sure. He looks familiar. He would also be wanting to go to the kitchens and grab some breakfast before you go to the blacksmith and speak with Daichi. So, um, would the rest of the group be following her as well? Yeah, sure, why not? Yep. Okay, then yeah, you would see this as well, and you would see Estrella as she is, she would have been able to get some food and whatnot, be sitting at your regular table by now. And Sakura will, will go and make tea. What are you doing to this present roll? <laughs> Sakura, as you are making tea, um, at, there will be some celebration as a couple of people just run away from this this lord and they see that you are back and they run to get tea as a lion <laughs> begins to form n near you, and you will see this lord noticing you, and it, like, quite interest, interested starting to make his way over, but yeah, you'll all be able to get a second breakfast here, as you had already eat at the bathhouse, but uh, there is some suckers making some good tea, and some food at the tables. What do you guys do? Not less as Korea if she had time yesterday to work on what I asked her. I did. Get the back in. I don't know. 
I'll, I'll keep it in mind then. Wait, is Emergency that Katia? Only. She is currently trained on this person. She uh, she feel, uh, feels like uh, she knows her, uh, this person from somewhere, but can't put her finger on it. <laughs> Yeah, so Jerry, as you're looking over this scroll, you would know that a teleportation circle might actually be something you could uh, create a permanent one of at the forge, which could take some work, but might be very much worth doing. And that uh, scroll will definitely be helpful. But as the rest of you are trained on this new figure, he will you'll see him approaching Sakura, um, just walking past the line, and and they are. You must be young Sasaki. I heard you were quite the talent with them. She she looks up from her, her tea making, a bit confused as to why this dude is cutting the line. Um but but I say, uh thank you, I I hope um you find the rumors to be correct, and she'll hand him a cup of tea. He'll he'll take one and and smile, bow his head, and say, "I am Master Katsuo Kaya. A pleasure to meet you. I've heard that tea is not the only thing you dabble in. Uh, chronomancy is that it?" Uh, she nods off. So, yeah, he just starts tasting the tea. And I recognized him as soon as I saw that token. So, to the rest of you that are just watching this, I'd like you, and Sakura, you can do this as well. You can give me an insight perception, yeah, insight or perception check, please, as you trying to figure out. Some of you do. I feel like that looks familiar. Holy shit, our insight. <laughs> Holy Everybody, shit. Everybody's like, yeah, we, we know what we can see up it directly into your soul. Do not lie. <laughs> That's like Sorry. the lowest one is 25. <laughs> we don't have a social security number now. <laughs> So, well, you guys, guys you guys definitely recognize this this person not their face their face you would all immediately understand that you have not seen before but this person walks with the exact same stature Elias you remember this motherfucker this is the one this is the one that just started the fire this is the one that got Timo killed and that is the one that attacked you in the theater, Sir yeah. Kayo, was wearing a golden mask. And they are very happily, <laughs> cheerily chatting to Sakura right now. But Sakura, as he introduces himself, you remember see who this person is. What he just play it cool. Um, you know, you, you look quite familiar. What, which clan are you from? Oh. I am from no clan anymore, but I have definitely heard of you, though I don't believe we've met yet, have we? Are you sure? I could have sworn I, I saw you at the theatre. I don't go often, but... I don't know, you have quite a memorable figure. He looks genuinely confused as, as you say this, and he says, it. I don't believe that happened yet. Or hmm. oh. are you sure? Yet? Hmm. May you perhaps also be one to dabble in chronomancy? <laughs> yes, you could say that. In fact, it was why I, I came here today. I was hoping and I could have a little chat about recent exploits. You see, I'm no longer well. And he just leans in 
because he says, I am no longer from any clan because I am the Kami of time. And you have been messing around quite a bit, haven't you? <laughs> what? You see, Jin, Jin's hand is quivering right now. Uh, when when he starts being in, I'm like, this person hurt Sakura. <laughs> Nobody's allowed hurting Sakura except Jin. <laughs> why, why, why did I make a character that could one shot people? Oh no. Oh, you made, oh, you made that kill. guy? Yeah. It's That's the dude that I... died. I don't know who the fuck that is. The one this was, was yeah, this was head. one of Sakura's characters in the in the level twenty one shot we did. <laughs> this Way guy's no joke. Monk. Way of the open hand monk. Fail a constitution throw drops a zero hit points next turn. This this is the consequences of your actions, Sakura. <laughs> yeah, that got me fucking. Ass. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I was the one who lived since you were Elias. <laughs> yeah, p- apparently Sakura was really annoying him. He he was just trying to meditate, and the river of time kept on having pebbles just plopped into them. You mean so, giant ass boulders? And and, and, and th- that was that was other me. That was Sakura. So I I I disturbed a monk's meditation. I'm gonna die now. I don't um, think you can die, but sure. As, I don't know if you can hear me. Hold on. Oh, my there we go. Just gone oh, I'm not sure if you can hear this. I can hear you. But my power just went out, so uh, I'm trying to switch over to voice, but I can't hear you for now. So I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Shit. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. Uh, any advice on what to do? Oh, you fucked up. You deal with it now. Disintegrate him. <laughs> You're the one that decides to mess with time magic. I, I I got Cthulhu on my back. You got fucking time monk man. There, on there, yours. there is a simple solution to this. Wish for him to be nope, nope, somewhere nope. else. No. Nope. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. That. Him with his like thirty dex and and. Thirty oh, constitution. I, let me see. Nice. I still have his character sheet. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He was a cool character. I wasn't gonna delete. How the fuck can he have thirty decks and thirty con? That's just fucking disgusting. The peach. The peach. It's the uh, most likely the peach nothing. and being a god. Likely. Yeah. But what like, the uh, fuck? And at least in an image of Khan's the god of war, <laughs> the uh, scores. Uh, that'll oh, give you an idea. Oh, he only has twenty-five in decks, thirty in con though. Oh shit, I can't find strike and then. wisdom. Ripping bows. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, he can stunning strike everybody and their mother. <laughs> yeah, oh shit, yeah, yeah, that's the oh, no. level you know, of these you characters. Know you, you, that's you know what else you can, can, can Why is he just, stupid? Can, just, can I just... just um, let, me, let, me, let me just, just do that. Just, quickly. um... You can see yeah. that he can just... Yeah. Destruction. Just one okay, shot. I can, I can wait, 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 However, yeah, literally, just use, like, whatever the fuck someone used that was, like, he's stupid. save. The one that you used on the fucking, oh no, actually, he's a monk, he has diamond soul. Well, he wears the rolling. Sakura can um, just make him fail. He's, 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 he's not, not, he's not actually stupid. stupid. Just Why are you trying to kill he him? He has an 8. He is so... No, that, that is, that is, that is, no, 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 no. This is yeah. uh, my character that I just sent uh, in that, from that one shot. His oh. is 14. Oh. Okay. No, I was looking at June's. His, yeah. his character had a minus 1. For intelligence and anything yeah. else was overpowered as fuck. He has a plus 20 to, to perception. I could beat that. Okay. 20? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can you beat Have a good chance. 20? Expertise. Expertise and reliable talent. I roll the 27 every time no, no. at least. I think she means that in... Yeah, but he has uh, plus 20. Plus 20 yeah, plus that, like... so it's 30 yeah, minimum. He could beat me, but I could also beat him. 
He can have 40 if he natural 20, that's 40 perception. He can. I can have 37. His passive perception is 35, man. Like... But then he has a bastard on it. Oh, it's Oh, He's in the five. His AC is twenty five. You think we can find that? Easy. Dude, not I have twenty four. I have twenty four. So sure. Yeah, I know. Plus nineteen to hit. Fine. But at the same, it's just just. just yeah, I'm seventeen. See, you're, you're missing the part where he's at fucking god of time. God, yeah. Like mm. as in more powerful than Sakura. He'll just so... run it back. Okay, and he can, can, he, he can just, he, as an action, regain 60, 60 HP, just, just randomly. Wait a second. Ah, Jesus Christ, the spider's moving again. Was he the dude with the Vorpal Sword? Chill. Chill, my guy. Chill. Don't, <laughs> don't scare me around like that. Fucking hell. <laughs> he was the one with the legendary tattoo. Blood Fury tattoo. Oh. Okay, so it's not the guy that died. I don't remember him because. Awful so basically, uh, just, yeah, yeah. No, you can't fight him. Sorry, I'm I'm back. I can hear you again. My Hello. my power went <laughs> because it was twelve. I figured we'd actually be done on time. Um, sorry about that. I think that is where we'll have to end tonight's session, as you guys uh, realize that the army of time is standing there with you, and yeah. No joke, but also not wearing a, a mask like last time, so who knows? Might not be so bad. Yeah, if you guys want to do anything before we, we actually wrap up sitting around the, the kitchen table, like telling everyone who that might actually be. It seems like you all recognized him from the, the theater there. Yeah, honestly, yeah. at this point, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, I don't care. I'll just be going to the Smith anyway. I'm scared. Tapping up and That's a you tapping on his shoulder and be like, Topman? Is, it, are you, is that what you want to do? <laughs> After all, I'm threatening. Yeah, he'd turn around with a smile and, oh, no, not at all. I'm just enjoying your friend here's famous tea. And you are. Australia. Paris. A pleasure to meet you, Lady Australia. I think we are probably going to get to know each other quite well. Do you mind if I join you? We are heading to Daisy soon, so... But he will come in and join you at the at the table, and then um, that is where we will we will end tonight. And next week we can go through blacksmithing stuff, the stuff that you want to buy. If there is something specific you're looking for, I mean, you said studded leather, which will be easy to find. But if you're looking for something fancy, you can uh, let me know during the week in the chat. You can check the Iranian, like the wiki. There is a list of. What they're selling, if it's still updated, of course. Relevant, I mean. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's yeah, there one I, for both of them, actually, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, but you're just giving this guy death stare right now. <laughs> when you said a lord, I thought it was gonna be like one of Daichi's sons being like pompous and arrogant. But Katsu is such a small bean. He's such a chill dude. We can't be mean to him. Well, last to, to all of you guys, this is the dude that got Kimo killed. Like, this is not. He's being very friendly for someone that attacked with Lorifax. But 